welcome, Chairman Arun. Thank you kindly for having me at India National Competition. I thank you. I thank KPMG for standing by us for so many years. Lifelong learning is proven here today. For those of you in the house from ITT, where are you? IIT, sorry, hello. I like your house, this is amazing. About a week ago, DevDeep sends me a photo. It's Mark Zuckerberg standing here taking a photo going that way. And earlier, Arun said, there's a little threat to this place called Silicon Valley. It's right here, because I'm sure you gave Mark a nice warm welcome, and thank you for doing that. But there's a lot of people that are looking at India as a market. You're not a market. You are a powerhouse. And this is your house. So it's your time. So what we're going to do tonight Moments away, we're going to take one of those trophies, we're going to crown one champion, we're going to take a picture here with a photograph going this way, and we're going to post it on Facebook so Mark Zuckerberg can see it, and everybody that comes to the World Cup, we're going to make a statement, because it's coming from you in India. The last time I was here in 20, 2017, we sent a champion on to London to be the world champion. I think we could do it again. From what I saw here today, your projects stand up to the world, and you better be ready for the world because they're looking at you and they're ready for you. When I think about the view of the world, it's amazing to me. When we look at the world from space, and we think about your projects crossing communities, campuses, borders, and countries, and linking with other friends and students, 72,000 strong throughout the world, not only in just 37 countries, but the projects and the work that you're doing is on over 160 countries at any one moment in time. The moment you sleep or wake up, 24-7, there's always an Enactus project at work for all of us, thanks to all of you. When you look at that Earth, you got to think about it, it's spinning 24 hours. It's traveling at 110 kilometers per hour around the sun. The entire universe is spinning. And when you look at us from space and you think about the projects that we do and where we do those projects in the community, that is our community. That is our world. In the very near future, the world will be populated by more Indians than anybody else. And I couldn't be prouder and the world couldn't be better. And you're proving it true. We are, in fact, a better world because of all of you. And I look at our partners like KPMG, and while government allows a 2%, I look at KPMG, they give the other 98% with lifelong learning. And when I think about all of you, you're not giving your 2%, you're giving 100%. You're giving 110%. It's amazing. I left New York just three days ago. I packed. I had a chance to take a nice shower. I turned on, the water came down. I got in my plane. I traveled from New York. I crossed the Atlantic six, seven hours later. Dark skies underneath, a big body of water. I came over Europe, and then I came across the uh, Mediterranean, and then I finally had a chance to land here. I got to my hotel late at night. I turned on the shower. There was water. It was warm. It was comfortable, and I woke up to meet some students from Chennai. Where are you? Are you still in the house? Are Chennai students somewhere? Way up there. That is a rookie league from Chennai. First time at Enactus, first time competing, making it into the top 30, and you left a place that is out of water. I would like to just stand for a moment because I'd like to acknowledge you up there. Please stand. And I want to make sure that you don't stand alone, that we stand for you, and that any time I buy water or anybody buys water in the future, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about our oceans. They're thinking about the plastics. They're thinking about the problems. And they're thinking it more than just 2%. They're thinking it good and hard. And I can guarantee to you, because DevDeep also talks about social innovation, but I can guarantee to you there will be no other businesses, no other future than social entrepreneurs and social innovators. You know why I can guarantee it? 
because you're it. You won't stand for anything else. In the very, very near future, a brand that doesn't stand for something will no longer stand. You will not tolerate it. I know that. I know that about all of you. I've met you. A little while later, um, minutes away, I was handed a pencil. <laughs> we have a lot of rules at Enactus, and for you judges that looked at all of the extensive rules and how we pay attention to each and every word, and you know that uh, you're not allowed to actually hand a project off to a judge, and it's kind of a big deal, and you know it's a big deal. But somebody handed me this pencil, and I said, wow, this pencil is in the hand of every one of your judges. How amazing is that? Now, they didn't compete, but they did something equally as amazing. They put a product in your hand that is not plastic, it is safe lead, it is made from recycled paper, and this pencil has a story that writes itself. Because this story also empowers and employs handicapped individuals to give them a job and to give them dignity. And from a father of two sons, one son that was here two years ago, he's like you, he's in college, he's a, a great content provider on YouTube. He's funny, he's vivacious, he's energetic. And then his older brother's name is Justice. And Justice is 22 years old, my oldest son. And Justice is a praxic ataxic. He is on the low end of autism. If he can get a glass of water to his lips, we celebrate it. He's a big boy. He demands your presence. But those are my two pillars in life. Because I look at my son and what he carries and my son Justice and who he is and that gift that he brings to the world, the gift of being present. And I look at those two boys as my two pillars in our future. And I think to myself, if one of us can look after two of us, then there is enough of us for all of us. Marshall McEwen, inspired by Buckminster Fuller, said, on planet Earth, there are no passengers, only crew. And that's all of you. And I couldn't be prouder to be amongst a crew like you, because as we head into 2030, and we look at these goals, challenges, yes, opportunities, of course, businesses, absolutely. Are they a must? Unequivocally, absolutely. When I think about Chennai and I think about water and I think about companies supporting us and the partners and the donors and everybody that we want to attract, I'm proud to say that two and a half years ago I had the opportunity to look at these goals and create individual competitions. Now today we had the main competition that was driven by students' individual passions, whatever they choose to do, passion and purpose. But we also help guide some races. World Water Race is one of them on SDG 6. And you know, we have 37 national competition teams and you'll be up against 36 others at the World Cup. However, this year at the World Water Race, there was over 130 entries into the World Water Race. Now we recently just pared that down to 24. Two days ago, we brought it down to 12. Yesterday, I learned in the top 12 of the water race, not one, two, three, four, five, count six of them are from India. Right, what's going on here? What's in the water? It's fantastic. And I hope we stand with you. We think across borders. We think about these goals. And we work together because there might be 5,000 of you today, but you have 72,000 friends out there in the world that all want to connect with you. There's another secret equation to the whole formula here. And yeah, there's great business advisors and mentorship. But the unsung heroes, as I see, are the steadfast faculty advisors. They're your team leaders, and they're probably the last ones to stand, but I'm going to ask them to do it anyway. Would you please welcome our faculty advisors? They're here, scattered throughout. Please take a stand wherever you are. You deserve it. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. We are grateful for your guidance. We are grateful. We know it's not an extra paycheck. We know it's extra time. And we are blessed to have you, all of you. Thank you so much. So it's one thing to think about that you're guiding students. And students are a small period of your, of your time. But once you pass through students, you become an alumni. And that's permanent. Like Devdeep said, you become an alumni, that's for life. And you have about a million plus friends out there. We have this little thing called an Actus Plus that we launched. How many of you uh, launched your projects on our platform? Awesome, awesome, awesome. And soon you can stay in it. And as alumni, you'll be welcome to stay in it and continue your projects. And another year from now, we'll invite all the alumni and you'll be able to connect to our out the world. I had a chance to meet four alumni just yesterday. Where are you? Come on up here. Would you, do you mind? Come on up here. Give me a hand. They hadn't met until yes, yes, just yesterday. Four amazing alumni. Come on up here. <laughs> Grab a mic over there. Grab a couple of mics. I appreciate it. Good. I want to say hello to you guys. And this is a really great chance for everybody to meet each other. And I, I don't want to make sure we don't escape the room, but come on out here, guys. You know, this guy right here, uh, two years ago, I met him in London. I called on you on a table, and you said it was your first time speaking. Is that possible? Check the actors. Yeah, we do that to alumni. It's a Hello. little trick we play. We only let the students actually talk. Hello. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, I met you in London two years back, and that story of mine was like I've never ever taken participation in any literary event ever in my life in my school time, and my seniors took like the best out of me, brought me to the Inactus Nationals. Like we won, like we were in the top 12 of the water races. We were there, you were the one to handle me the mic and I like presenting there my project, my team, everything felt like a dream and it's still time, the best achievement I think it is. You look like you were born with a mic. <laughs> Thank you so much. You also said you're not shy about grabbing a mic anymore, anymore thanks to what? I think thanks to an actress, to be very honest, um, e even in school I, was, I used to participate in a couple of things, but I think I can give the, soul, the whole credit of what I am and who I am to an actress. It has made me a better person, a better orator, and a much more confident person. And I think even my parents have noticed a different shine in me ever since I've started working with an actress. So academic advisors, business advisors, you never know when that's going to click and that change and when it happens in your life. Tell me about your first Enactus experience. Uh, so the first time I heard about Enactus, it was some students just uh, hanging posters and telling us about people uh, interacting with uh, trafficked women. And I was like, you can actually do that in the streets of Mumbai. Is it even safe? And I was just blown away by the fact that something like this even exists. And that was in Actus for me. That was the first introduction. And ever since then, my life just changed. And it's just been a brilliant journey. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not going to accept that. Come on. It can't be that special. There must be a million clubs that you can join on campus. Certainly, there's a lot of activities and things that you can join on campus. There has to be other things like an Actus. No, there is absolutely nothing like an Actus. As I was saying the other day, there's nothing that ticks all the boxes of uh, social, business, marketing, everything in one. There's nothing like an actress the out there. Best of both worlds, I feel. So there must be a lot of business clubs in all of your colleges, and also a lot of social working societies. But an actress is a perfect blend of these two, and I think it makes you a much, much smarter person, and you gain so much out of it. And not just, I mean, knowledge. I mean, you can use it in your real world as well. Tell me about your first Enactus experience and what you're doing now. Hello. Uh, so my first Enactus experience was when we visited the community of farmers in right in Delhi. And once I went there, I was so shocked that myself living in Delhi for the last 18 or 19 years when I joined college, I've never been to such areas. I've never seen such communities. And it was just shocking for me to witness such lives. And I was so grateful that Enactus gave me an opportunity to enhance these, the lives of these communities. And, uh, right Where do now, you work? Right now I'm working at Bain as an analyst in the corporate finance service line. All right, so at Bain, you, you're, you're, you're looking at companies and evaluating companies, is that true? And you're on the evaluation team? Yes, yes. And what do you evaluate those companies based on? So uh, primarily we evaluate companies in purely in terms of their financial returns to their shareholders. Financial returns, that's you today. 
Now, as you move up the chain quickly, because you will, and it's three, four years from now, and you're going to evaluate companies, and you're running the show. It's now Bain and you. How are you going to evaluate companies? So because of my such close association with Enactis, I would broader the meaning of impact to just not economic impact, but to social impact as well. Because all these firms generate profits, taking resources from the society, and it is just to give back to the society. That's like a warning shot to all companies out there. <laughs> He's coming up. Look out. Thank you for that. Uh, I want to hear a little bit about your, your skills, because as I look at this pencil as an example, and the first thing that they said is, and, and we could all talk about this pencil and, and probably discourage the production knowing that it's 10, 20x the actual cost of another pencil. But I think about the story value of the pencil, and I also think about the time I never thought I'd pay more than 50 cents for a cup of coffee, but based on the story, um, it's amazing the stories that you put behind products. Can you share a couple of those um, stories that, that help create a uh, greater value for, for your experience, greater value for your projects? So, uh, Ravi, I would share the story of uh, one of our projects. So, uh, in, in our team in our first year, we were told to research about communities which we can help through, our, through the Nactus platform. And we came across the story of Jan the Teras of Janjala Guru. And we, uh, to, to as students, it was so difficult for us that because the community was 10 hours away from Delhi, but Nactus as a platform gave us an opportunity to impact their lives. And I think that, that whatever Enactus has given me has helped me achieve so much in life that I will always say that I have not given it back enough. The amount of things I've taken back from Enactus will always be greater in, the, in their share. Okay, so <laughs> fantastic, Albert, right? All right? I feel like it's going to be a magic trick. Don't turn around and look at the screen. You have not seen what's on the screen. Tell me about some of the skills that you've picked up through your project-based experience. Tell me a little bit about some of those skills, please. Uh, so I think the first skill that I enhanced was my leadership skill, because do you just need me to tell the skill or expand on it? Number seven. Yes, if this was a game show, you'd be uh, ringing in the buzzer right now. Thank right. you. Leadership skills, experiential learning. Tell me, tell me about some other skills that you've picked up. Please. I feel uh, I, I'm a much more um, um, I, I think empathy would be one of the, I, it's, not a, it's not really a skill, but I feel that's something I've gained out of uh, Enactus. And even a better communicator, I mean, a lot of people know about the problems, but being able to communicate it well to other partners and getting to know the, the real cause of it and how bad the problem is. So, so I would ask our friends at Walmart how important empathy is in understanding your customer base. <laughs> how important is empathy for KPMG in understanding your consultant base and your your client problems as well? Uh, for me, it has been networking. Like, that's one skill that Anarchus has given me. And the power of networking and collaborations, it has taught me that if you're out there in any competition, any place, just keep talking. You'll find people like you, you'll definitely get along and make your, grow yourself and make the world a better place. Networking and collaboration. Uh, so for me, two essential skills would be team and time management. Time management. Um, emotional intelligence linked to empathy, fair enough. Creativity, we saw lots of it today. Innovation, innovation. the seeds of creativity growing into innovation, growing into business principles, growing into sustainable business opportunities. For the students, what advice would you have about their, their inactive career? What could you offer the students? So what I feel is, um, you might leave an actress after a while, but an actress will never leave you. And that's why we're still here. I've been out of college, it's going to be two years soon. And I'm still here, and I was ready to come here in a split second. The minute I got to know that an actress nationals are happening in Delhi, there was no way I was not going to be here. And it's just that there's so many th new things happening every day. You get to know about something new every day. And I think it's just a great platform to be in, something which will always stick with you. One very short story I'd like to share what an actress gave me. I was researching for a project on composting, and I got attached to it so much that uh, I really wanted to do something for composting. And meanwhile, when the project was launched, I graduated. So while going back, I'm from Punjab, uh, 300 miles from here. 
I started composting at my house. Uh, recently, I gave a lecture to Ludhiana residents where I told them how to compost at home. Apart from that, I've started a group in Ludhiana, Smart Citizens of Ludhiana, where we're 50 people. We do plantation drives, we do cleanliness drives, not only for the landfills, also for the Satluj River that's there. And that is the impact an artist left on me. How cool is that? Advice for an active students? Uh, if I start giving advice, it'll never go, it'll never stop. <laughs> uh, but a very quick note here, just remember that every time you go out to work, there are three people that you're working for. The first person you're working for is your beneficiary. The second person you're working for is the, uh, is the person who's going to buy the product or service that your beneficiary makes. And the third person who's going to gain out of this, and probably the most, is yourself. Because this experience, this learning, this knowledge, it's everything. And this is how you're going to grow. So these, th these three things you're, you're going to take, these three people that you're going to impact, this is it. So when you present your projects and the projects we saw today, you present the impact on those beneficiaries. You, pr you present direct impact and indirect impact. How many of you were impacted by Enactus in the Enactus experience? All of us. I believe all of us. How many of you were impacted by your Enactus experience? Where are you? Judges as well. That's a lot of impact. Thank you very, very much. Our alumni, passionate, amazing, beautiful, fantastic resources of the world. At this time, I'd love to have Deb Deep uh, come and join. We have some things to people to recognize. We have some trophies to give away. We have some people to recognize. And we have to take that photo and send it to Mark Zuckerberg. And we post it on Facebook. We'll do that too, OK? Thank you very much. Thank you. Give him a big round of applause. Thank you. This is the moonshot and the view of the world. And so you got to keep thinking bigger because if you land here, you're halfway there. So thank you. I'm going to turn this over to Dev Deep.